Alhamdulillah, salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah A question was asked about studying in America and which countries and places are recommended to study and again we've answered questions like this uh, many times as walillah alham there's a lot of youth out there who would like to travel and study the deen and seek Islamic knowledge and come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is a great ni'mah and is a great khair and the Prophet sallallahu said man yirad Allah bi khairan yafqahu fi din whenever Allah wants good for a person he gives him understanding of the religion and he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said man salaka tariqan yaltalmasuhu bihi ilman sahhala Allah lahu tariqan ila al-jannah that whenever uh, whoever traverses the path of knowledge, then Allah will make easy for him the path to paradise. So this is khair al-theem. As far as places to study, again, I've been living in Saudi Arabia for quite some time, so I do not have much personal experience with other places except Yemen and Yemen and many of the other places due to the chaos, due to the fitna, due to the killing, due to the trials and tribulations that we face as a ummah and the Muslim nations in general and specifically a lot of the Arab countries uh, are in a state of disaster and you cannot go study there really for the most part at this step at this uh, time in uh, and so forth so I don't really have advices I can't tell you specific places in Morocco although there are places and there are Ahlul Sunnah is there and there are places to study so my advice would be to look into those matters and contact uh, local masajid and students of knowledge and, and put it out there on, on boards, uh, forums and what have you and try to find out information about that. Likewise in Egypt, Egypt is full of uh, benefits and opportunities to study at. But again, I don't have the personal experience. I have not lived there. I've visited, but I've not lived there. Um, and other places, Mauritania, um, you know, even in non-Arab countries, there are opportunities, but you have to investigate and talk to those people who have knowledge about those, uh, those uh, places. As far as studying in America and studying in the UK and so forth, there are many opportunities, as the ulama have mentioned, as far as studying, in, studying uh, online. There's many translations, but there are also now Islamic on online Islamic universities like the uh, Medina uh, Islamic University, MIU, which is out of the UK. Some brothers from Ahlul Sunnah have put together a very beneficial program, and Walilah uh, Alhamd, it's going forward and it's a, it's a positive project uh, where a person can get a degree in. Um, uh, hadith or fiqh and aqidah, those various sciences, and it's a developing program, so it's even will have more opportunities be idnillah in the future. And there are other programs out there, really all around the world. And if you know Arabic, of course, you have the tools to where you can even uh, go even further and advance in your studies. Those are predominantly what I want to say uh, as far as places to study and what I know. Uh, another point I want to mention for those trying to seek knowledge is that the youth, there's a lot more youth out there who uh, are seeking knowledge and benefiting the people and doing khair and we expect to see more of that. The main thing is not to waste time and make the same mistakes that those who came before you did and do and that is involving the youth in things that have no benefit involving the youth in differences between the ulama of Ahl sunnah not between the ulama of Ahl sunnah and Ahl bid'ah we're not talking about that again i always have to clarify because people always interpret what they want and how they want in whatever mean and manners they want and choose according to their desires wallahu musta'an so what i want to say is is don't if you are blessed to seek knowledge don't 
seek knowledge and just to get into the further controversy to find out what what is Sheikh Mohammed bin Hadi say about Sheikh Obaid? What does Sheikh Obaid say about this? What is Sheikh Rabi? What's the new mokif on this? Uh, because those things will never allow you to really truly seek knowledge, but you'll be seeking fitna if that's what you want. And if you want to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you need to know those things which are going to bring you closer to Allah and those things which are going to raise you up before Allah and those things that are going to benefit you and your community. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.